So today we're going to talk about a critical element of your business strategy and your marketing strategy, and that is your pricing strategy. Are you going to go for volume, which means you, you're going to be more competitive on price, or are you going to go for higher price, higher margin, which means you won't have as much volume, uh, but you'll have a, a greater profit margin not be working with quite so many customers. And so that's the topic for today, and uh, let's dive into this. So when you look at the remodeling industry and you look at the financial landscape, there really are two uh, methodologies, ideologies. One is to uh, really be a, uh, you know, a, uh, a moderate-priced service provider, um, you're going to be competitive with pretty much everyone else in the marketplace. And what you're looking for is volume. So you're trying to go wide, uh, as many customers as possible, as many households as possible. And then there's the alternative. Uh, there's the higher end remodeler who is not going to be as competitive on price, but they are going to uh, bring a lot of extra finish touches to their work. And so they are going to demand more in what they charge, they're going to work with fewer clients, but they're going to have higher margins, higher price points, uh, be dealing with really probably a higher level of clientele overall. And so what we want to get into is how do you make that decision? You know, each of these has its own unique benefits. Each of these has its own unique challenges. And the choice between the two can significantly impact your market position, your profitability, and your brand perception. And so what we want to look at is how do you figure out what's the best approach to align with your goals, your expertise, and the dynamics of your market. So first of all, let's talk about the volume-based pricing strategy. The benefits of that are, number one, market penetration. A volume pricing strategy aims to attract a larger customer base by offering your services at lower price points. This strategy can be particularly effective in highly competitive markets where price sensitivity is a significant factor for homeowners. And the second piece of that is economies of scale. By focusing on higher volumes of projects, Remodeling companies are able to negotiate better rates with suppliers on materials and also streamline their operations. And what this can do is reduce overall costs and potentially increase profit margins in spite of the lower price points. Here's some of the drawbacks, though. There are thinner profit margins, so operations on volume-based pricing can lead to thinner profit margins. Uh, you have to ensure that you have efficient operations and cost controls to maintain profitability. And then of course, brand perception is another issue. Exclusively competing on price can affect brand perception. Positioning the company as a low cost provider, which might not appeal to clients who are looking for high quality, high end, customized remodeling solutions. Here's a real life application. A remodeling company specializing in quick, budget-friendly kitchen and bathroom makeovers might adopt volume pricing to attract first-time homeowners. By streamlining their service offerings and working with a specific range of materials, they can offer competitive pricing while ensuring profitability through a high volume of projects. One of the things they're going to have to do, though, is limit the scope of their work and make sure that they don't get into what I call scope creep, which means they're going to have to be very clear with their customer, here's what we do, and it is limited to these services only. And if you begin to creep beyond that, then the, the pricing of our services begins to creep up. Now, let me say this. One of the things that a home remodeling company could do is something that you see sometimes in the retail arena. Use a lower-priced service 
as almost a loss leader. We'll do this part of the remodeling project at a lower price, very thin margins, knowing that when we do that work, you're naturally going to want these other pieces as add-ons to then make that project more profitable. So that is a way that a contractor could use those lower margin, lower price services as kind of a, a foot in the doorway, if you will, uh, into some, some higher margin service add-ons. Now let's talk about the premium pricing strategy. Here's a couple of the benefits. You've got higher profit margins. Uh, premium pricing allows for higher profit margins per project. Um, this is particularly viable for companies that specialize in uh, high-end, high-quality remodeling services where their differentiation is based on craftsmanship, materials, personalized design, and then, of course, brand positioning. A premium pricing strategy can immediately elevate a company's brand, associating it with luxury, exclusivity, and superior quality. This positioning is going to attract clients who are willing to pay more for perceived value and expertise. Now, there's, of course, some drawbacks. Uh, number one, it's a limited market. You're, you're going to, you know, narrow the pool of prospective homeowners who are available to hire you at these higher rates. Targeting this premium segment of the market can limit the customer base, as not all clients are going to be willing or, in fact, able to pay for higher-end remodeling services. And, of course, with that, there are higher expectations. And so with premium pricing comes premium expectations, and that means the service level has to be exceptional, the quality of workmanship has to be exceptional, the durability of the, the workmanship has to be exceptional, and so you've got to be able to meet those expectations, and that's going to require a continuous investment in skill sets, in materials, and in customer service. Uh, so here's a real-life scenario. Consider a modeling company that posi positions itself as a provider of luxury kitchen remodels, focusing on high-end materials, custom design work, and superior craftsmanship. By adopting a premium pricing strategy, they're going to attract affluent clients seeking unique, high-quality remodeling projects, ensuring higher profit margins even with a lower volume of projects. So looking at those two choices, those two scenarios, how do you choose the right strategy? Well, the decision between which route you go really should be based on your goals, objectives, expertise, and the dynamics of your market. Um, you might even find a hybrid approach is effective, um, where you offer a range of services that cater to both market segments, where you have, uh, if you will, packages or programs that allow somebody to, to start low and, and scale high or sell high and, and remove different components to get down to a lower price point. Um, so that's more of that hybrid model. So for instance, it, you could offer a basic remodeling package at competitive prices and then also provide high-end custom services at premium prices so you could uh, address both ends of the market. Um, you could have a basic service package and then premium add-ons to that service package. So there's several ways to uh, address both ends of the spectrum. In the end, though, it's still going to come down to your objectives. What do you need to accomplish? Uh, what is your capacity level? What is your skill level? What is the skill level of your team? Do you have the ability to scale? Uh, what is your current workload? Uh, there's a lot of these factors you're going to need to address. And so in conclusion, whether you're adopting a volume-based strategy or a premium price premium pricing model, 
the key lies in understanding your market, aligning your pricing strategy with your brand, and then delivering exceptional value to your customers. Just remember this, your choice of strategy is going to significantly impact your company's financial health, your company's market position, and the long-term <clears throat> excuse me, growth prospects in the competitive industry in your local area. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If we can help you develop a strategy for your company, be sure and schedule a strategy session with us. And thank you for taking the time to join me today.